When you say sacred geometry, we're talking about not the proofs and the axioms and the postulates of textbook Euclidean geometry, although it does encompass all of that, but it takes it to another level where there's a philosophical or symbolical connotation to the forms, the patterns, the proportions, the relationships that one finds in the geometric realm. So sacred geometry looks at the way geometry manifests throughout all the levels and realms of creation from the microcosmic to the macrocosmic and everything in between and how geometry serves as a unifying body of principles or relationships that ties all of those domains together which includes of course the human domain. So we have geometry expressing itself through molecular geometry, we find it in galactic geometry. We find it in the biological realm through growing things. We find it in the inorganic realm through crystalline structure. We find it in the realm of human-made art. And when we look at the manifestations of sacred geometry in the human realm, what we find is that they are reflecting the same geometric principles that we find throughout the natural order.